Well, Carson, um, you know, gosh, it's been quite a journey for you guys here, and, and for you in particular. We got to see you a few times and flash some talent. Can you tell me what your season's been like and how you've ma been able to maintain that edge? Um, you know, the mental reps, I suppose, on game days. Um, yeah, it's been good. Um, you know, I've gotten a few opportunities, and, um, you know, every time we get in or I get in, you know, just try to take advantage and, you know, do the best that I can. What's the biggest difference between you now and, and the guy that came to Georgia, gosh, I guess it was three years ago, right? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it's been a while. Um, I've definitely grown up a lot. Um, I'd say football-wise, my mental side of the game has definitely been the most improved. Part, so, but now you know, just continue to grow in every aspect, and just trying to get better. How physically? How big were you when you came in? How thick were you compared to now? I mean, it seems just looking at you from the outside, you look a little thicker and bigger than when you came in. Um, yeah, you know, um, just uh, college workouts are a lot different than high school workouts. So, um, but now I've definitely put on a little weight, and then good weight that is. But um, I don't know the exact the size that I was whenever I first got here. But I've definitely grown a lot. Two sides to every story. I want to ask you about 2021. Uh, Kirby had told us on a Monday that, yeah, Carson's the two. And then come Saturday, we saw Stetson get the start. And obviously, five touchdowns in the first half was a pretty good start. What did you go through then? How do you grow from something like that? Um, you know, it's, I mean, obviously, it's not my decision. And um, it all comes down to practice. And obviously, that week, you know, Coach thought that Stetson was a guy, and I mean that's that's what happened. And ever since then, you know, he's done great and had a great career up to this point, you know. And now we're in a second national championship. So, but I mean, going back to that, you know, it's uh, there's really nothing that you know I can do besides you know go come to practice every day and just continue to try to get better. How much more prepared do you think you're going to be now, uh, having gone through what you've gone through in the last year? You know, we hear so much about these Georgia practices and, and how hard they are. I've got to believe they're hard on quarterbacks, too. I mean, uh, can you just talk about the, the edge you feel you have and the level of preparedness uh, for the spring when I suppose there'll be a, a quarterback competition? Um, yeah, I mean, just going up against our defense every single day, you know, it. I mean, we're the best, I, what I think is the best defense in the country. Um, you see all different types of looks. You're going against guys that are going to be future draft picks. Um, you know, it's, it's only going to keep elevating my game and honestly everybody's game. You know, iron sharpens iron, and um, when you have really good guys on both sides of the ball, you know, you just continue to progress. Jake Fromm talked about you at the beginning of the year. He said prototypical NFL quarterback. It's a big words from Jake Fromm. Um, what do you think you can bring to this offense? What will be some different dimensions that we'll see from you uh, in the G-Day game and, and maybe next fall as well? Um, you know, kind of like I said earlier, I mean, just continue to try to work on every facet of my game from accuracy to arm strength to the mental side. I think the mental side is the biggest part and just understanding the game of football, which I think Coach Munkin does a great job of with teaching us and in meetings and in the film room, but really just continue to progress and try to be the best I can. One of the things we've seen with Georgia and one of Kirby sayings is, if it ain't broke, try to make it better. And even last off season, he tried to have Caleb Williams to the quarterback room, and, and obviously that didn't work out, and Stetson became the guy. When you're a player on the Georgia football team, knowing uh, the influx of talent, what is that like? I mean, as we sit here, I, I don't know if there'll be another quarterback come in or out of the portal, but how do you handle knowing the competition level that's here and that they could be here at any any point in time? Yeah, no, I mean, it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of great guys on our team in every single position room. And um, I think all of us thrive on competition, and at the end of the day, it'll only make you better. How about the relationship between the quarterbacks? Sometimes in competitive quarterback rooms, things can go sour, but I know JT is still tight with Stetson. Obviously, I've seen you had good relationships with the guys next to you. How does that work out when you're all competing for the same thing and yet you're able to maintain these friendships? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like a lot of people feel like there might be animosity like in a quarterback room because only one guy plays. but. Um, I'd say our guys, you know, we all have a really good relationship and we're all very tight and close and learn off of each other, whether that's football, life, friendships. I mean, I, like I said, I think we're all really good friends and, um, you know, even though there's only one spot, it, it doesn't really matter to us. How would you describe Coach Munkin for the outside world? When we see him, he seems a bit unfiltered with the media. I'm trying to imagine what he'd be like behind closed doors. Um, yeah, no, I mean, like I said earlier, you know, he's really smart and um, he's fun. Um, he gets after it, and um, yeah, no, we, we definitely are a better offense because of him.